Hello, welcome to how to solve this square root simplification problem. We have x root of 4 times square root of 2 times square root of 2 is equal to 32. First of all, we write it in exponential form like this 4 times square root of 2 times square root of 2 to the whole power 1 over x is equal to 32. Next we take power x on both sides at left side power x and at right side power x. Now there is a rule of exponents that a to the power m to the whole power n is equal to a to the power m times n. According to this rule, this power 1 over x is multiplied by this power x. 4 times square root of 2 times square root of 2 to the whole power 1 over x times this power x is equal to 32 to the power x. Next, this x will be cancelled with this x and here left. 4 times square root of 2 times square root of 2 is equal to 32 to the power x. Next we take square of both sides. At left side square and at right side square. Now there is a rule of exponents that a times b to the whole power n is equal to a to the power n times b to the power n. According to this rule, this power 2 becomes the power of this 4 and the power of this square root of 2 times square root of 2. Like this, 4 to the power 2 times square root of 2 times square root of 2 to the power 2 is equal to. Now, there is a rule of exponents that a to the power m to the whole power n is equal to a to the power m times n. According to this rule, this power x is multiplied by this power 2. Like this, 32 to the power x times 2. Next, 4 to the power 2 times this square will be cancelled with this square root. And here left 2 times square root of 2 is equal to 32 to the power x times 2, 2x. Now we take square of both sides again. At left side square and at right side square. Next, according to the rule of exponents, this power 2 is multiplied by this power 2 and becomes the power of this 2 and also become the power of this square root of 2. Like this, 4 to the power 2 times 2 times 2 to the power this power 2 times square root of 2 to the power this power 2 is equal to 32 to the power this power 2x is multiplied by this power 2 2x times 2 next 4 to the power 2 times 2 4 times 2 to the power 2 times this square is cancelled with this square root and here left 2 is equal to 32 to the power 2x times 2 4x. Next this 4 can be written as 2 to the power 2 to the whole power this power 4 times 2 to the power 2 times 2 is equal to and this 32 can be written as 2 to the power 5 to the whole power this power 4x. Next, according to the rule of exponents, this power 2 is multiplied by this power 4. Like this 2 to the power 2 times this power 4 times 2 to the power 2 times 2 is equal to and this power 5 is multiplied by this power 4x. 2 to the power 5 times 
फोर एक्स नेक्स्ट टू टू द पावर टू टाइम्स फोर एट टाइम्स टू टू द पावर टू टाइम्स दिस टू हैज पावर वन हेयर टू टू द पावर वन इज इक्वल टू 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 द पावर फाइव टाइम्स फोर एक्स ट्वेंटी एक्स नेक्स्ट देयर इज अ रूल ऑफ एक्सपोनेंट्स दैट ए टू द पावर एम टाइम्स ए टू द पावर एन टाइम्स ए टू द पावर ओ इज इक्वल टू ए टू द पावर एम प्लस एन प्लस ओ बाय यूजिंग दिस रूल टू टू द पावर एट प्लस टू प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू 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 द पावर ट्वेंटी एक्स टू टू द पावर एट प्लस टू टेन एंड टेन प्लस वन इलेवन इज इक्वल टू 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 द पावर ट्वेंटी एक्स नो बेस इज सेम एट बोथ साइड सो दिस टू विल बी कैंसल्ड विद दिस टू एंड हेयर लेफ्ट इलेवन इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी एक्स नो वी डिवाइड बोथ साइड बाय ट्वेंटी एट लेफ्ट साइड डिवाइडेड बाय ट्वेंटी एट राइट साइड डिवाइडेड बाय ट्वेंटी दिस ट्वेंटी विल बी कैंसल्ड विद दिस ट्वेंटी एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज इलेवन ओवर ट्वेंटी Now to verify that this value of x is correct or not, we put this value in the original form. Now to verify that this value of x is correct or not, we put this value in the original equation. Now to verify that this value of x is correct or not, we put this value in the original equation. Now to verify that this value of x is correct or not, we put this value in the original equation. Now to verify that this value of x is correct or not, we put this value in the original equation. Now to verify that this value of x is correct or not, we put this value in the original equation. Now to verify that this value of x is correct or not, we put this value in the original equation. Now to verify that this value of x is correct or not, we put this value in the original equation. Now to verify that this value of x is correct or not, we put this value in the original equation. Now to verify that this value of x is correct or not, we put this value in the original equation. Now to verify that this value of x is correct or not, we put this value in the original equation. Now to verify that this value of x is correct or not, we put this value in the original equation. Now to verify that this value of x is correct or not, we put this value in the original equation. Now to verify that this value of x is correct or not, we put this value in the original equation. Now to verify that this value of x is correct or not, we put this value in the original square root of 2 times square root of 2 and here we put the value of x 11 over 20 is equal to 32 next we write it in exponential form like this 4 times square root of 2 times square root of 2 to the power now here the index is 11 over 20 And one over eleven over twenty is equal to twenty over eleven. So we write here the power twenty over eleven is equal to thirty-two. Next, we take power eleven on both sides. At left side, power eleven, and at right side, power eleven. This eleven is cancelled with this eleven. and here left 4 times square root of 2 times square root of 2 to the power 20 is equal to 32 to the power 11 next 4 times we write this square root of 2 times square root of 2 in exponential form like this 2 times square root of 2 to the power 1 over 2 to the whole power this power 20 is equal to 32 to the power 11 next four times now according to the rule of exponents this power 1 over 2 becomes the power of this 2 2 to the power 1 over 2 times and we write this square root of 2 in exponential form 2 to the power 1 over 2 times and this power 1 over 2 is multiplied by this power 1 over 2 1 over 2 to the whole power 20 is equal to 32 to the power 11 next this 4 can be written as 2 to the power 2 times 2 to the power 1 over 2 times 2 to the power 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 1 over 4 to the whole power 20 is equal to 32 to the power 11 next according to the rule of exponents this power 20 is multiplied by these powers that are inside the bracket like this 2 to the power 2 times this power 20 times 2 to the power 1 over 2 times this power 
times 2 to the power 1 over 4 times this power 20 is equal to 32 to the power 11. Next, 2 to the power 2 times 20, 40 times 2 to the power, from here 2 1 time, 2 10 times and 4 1 time, 4 5 times. Here left 2 to the power 10 times and here left 2 to the power 5 is equal to this 32 can be written as 2 to the power 5 to the whole power 11. Next, there is a rule of exponents that a to the power m times a to the power n times a to the power o is equal to a to the power m plus n plus o. According to this rule, these powers 40, 10 and 5 are added. Like this, 2 to the power 40 plus 10 plus 5 is equal to and according to the rule of exponents, this power 5 is multiplied by this power 11. 2 to the power 5 times 11. Next, 2 to the power 40 plus 10, 50 and 50 plus 5, 55 is equal to 2 to the power 5 times 11, 55. From here you can see that left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So, it is proved that the value of x 11 over 20 is correct.